For the second time in a week now, there's been a reported issue with the replacement Samsung Galaxy Note 7 here in Kentucky. Most recently, a Nicholasville man says his phone exploded and sent him to the hospital. WKYT's Monique Blair has the story that you'll see only here on WKYT. I'm scared to death for a minute. Early Tuesday morning, Michael Claring woke up to his bedroom covered in smoke. Smells awful. Um, look over and uh, my, my phone's on fire. Claring says he had only had this replacement Samsung Galaxy Note 7 a little more than a week when it caught fire. The uh, the phone's supposed to be the, the replacement, so you would thought it was safe. It wasn't plugged in. It wasn't anything. It was just sitting there. Later in the day, Claring went to the ER where, according to hospital documents, he was diagnosed with acute bronchitis. It was a vomiting black, so it was very scary. After an alleged replacement Samsung Galaxy Note 7 caught fire on a southwest plane at the Louisville airport earlier this week, Samsung released a statement to Time saying in part, quote, until we are able to retrieve the device, we cannot confirm that this incident involves the new Note 7. Claring says Samsung also wanted his device, but he refused to give it up. But they did pay for him to get an x-rayed. He says he felt Samsung was helping him until he got a text message from a Samsung representative that was not meant to go to him. That message read in part, quote, I can call and try to slow him down if we think it will matter, or we just let him do what he keeps threatening to do and see if he does it. It made me think, you know, they're not taking this serious enough and I had to, it's time to move on. So now Claring says he is seeking legal help and he just wants to get this information out to the public so it doesn't happen to someone else. They're in kids' pockets and people's cars, all kinds of things that we saw with the, the first ones. Um, and Samsung needs to do something to get these off the market. In Nicholasville, Monique Blair, WKYT. Now, we reached out to Samsung tonight. The company said it's not ready to comment on this specific case.